Hi, hello everyone, welcome back to Super Mario Brothers 3 100% walkthrough. So this is episode uh, 5 now I believe, um, and we're going to continue right where we left off. Halfway through, uh, well about a third of the way through World 7, so this is sort of the maze level, if you like, the, all the pipes. And uh, we take on World f uh, Level 4 here on World 7, so... This one, uh, this world sort of utilises a mixture of all the prior worlds, I think. And this one, of course, is the nod to the the water world, which was probably the most difficult so far, to be honest. Hopefully I grab this mushroom. It's a bit of a shame. Um, it's difficult to move quickly under here, to be honest. So good these fish in a way. I mean, that big one's annoying, because he eats you, you're dead straight away, so... Um, if I do fail this one, I think I'll use my frog suit. I have a couple of them spare, and there's no other really time to use them, to be honest, so... It seems appropriate. Now, we've got a load of these jellyfish, but they, they will be stationary, so it's not too bad, this section. Reminds me a bit of the uh, the ghost ship on Super Mario World, this. Where the, uh, the ghosts appear, and... That was one that I sort of... Maneuvered okay, but it's it's more difficult to swim and to control your swim on this game because you can't really um, hold in down or up to influence the direction quite so well. Ah, uh, it always goes the wrong way, doesn't it? Fuck it up. Right, so just wait for this to fire its spores where it is. I mean, to say that, Jesus. What the fuck? That took forever? Alright, maybe you have to go first then. But, wow, I was like as far right on the screen as possible then. I cannot believe how long that took. So, whatever. Um, I know the how to get past that pit anyway. And uh, Yeah, it should be easier with this anyway. Because you can see, you can actually uh, swim like a hell of a lot better. And um, you tap the X button, you, you actually sort of go flying across and you can hover like that so frog suit is outrageous you don't tap x by the way you uh, you hold it in it's true right so there's no way of killing stuff so i do have to just avoid this but yeah i'll be disappointed if i lose my suit on this one because if I keep hold of this even for an extra minute the level's probably done then He does move location slightly, but I think this is. Oh no way! Sure. That is um, based on how the the screen is right now. It's up, going up and down, and this is damn shame because I'm swimming terribly through them now. So let's wait for this. I don't know if there's a, a bit you can get to at the top. You know, sort of avoid that plant that killed me last time. No, it doesn't seem so. So you've got to go down here now. Just quickly as possible, make my way through that. Let me last enough for last time. This guy's sort of lurking, so be careful of him, because it seems the only way past him is through here. And I forgot about that, you just fire like some weird ass little tiny fish out as well. But, relieved to see the end of that level, I don't really like that one. And it's one that does seem out of place. I don't think it was, you know, went in like two pipes, so. Um, I should have known, I mean, any world that's over the water like this level is. Um, will be a water one. This one's sort of halfway over, so imagine there was. Uh, I can't even remember it now, but imagine there was half a water section over. In fact, I think that was a one of the mini games, so I don't even think that was a level. But this takes us right up here, so I'm actually going to go back and get five.
Okay, we've got a lot of free spaces now, so I'm going to save on them. Um, nearly at the end of the game, but yeah, trust me, you need as, as many as possible for World 8. Oh, you bastard. Why did they put them there? That's annoying. That's what tempt you into that. And again, here, teams. I really shouldn't have done that. I realised as soon as I did it. Ah, god damn it. No, oh, they didn't go this way last time. No, not tell them I was. They send you the same place, I suppose, but. I was like, then. I figured there might be a secret or something. So this level will seem like it's going to be another pipe maze, so... Whoa. Okay then. I expected that to be fight straight towards the other guy, to be honest, but... Uh, I have to bear that in mind, it sort of does a slight jump. So not the best start of this episode, but I mean, I've probably died as many times as I did in the whole of last episode, so enough of this, let's just get a power up and keep all of it this time, so. Get rid of these, just uh, of course make sure they're far enough up, and this part doesn't really concern me, because of course being small Mario can get past these. Yeah, I figured they would be like that. Uh, I think the next section's gonna be the same, where it just actually like fills in block that you have to go across later on. So please be a mushroom, because I really need one right now. It's a damn shame, but let's uh, let's hope I guess this one right. I think not. I think this is gonna carry on and do the same, where you have to go up each pipe and fill in the block. Ah, so this is the, the other one, so... Uh, I think this was the power-up section. Uh, excellent, I've got a double back, so this has got to be something new. So now, uh, yeah, the next bit I'm going to have to jump across, because if I do fall down, I mean, this might do the same, yeah. Um, it's going to set off the block. Do you need to keep an eye on the timer as well, because this is the type of level that can trip you up. Uh, I think it does give like a slight sound before you do and do that, but of course this is the bit where I do not want to fall down, and if I fall down this bit, I think that will fill another block in, so... Is it worth it? I think it might be. Yeah, excellent. So I've got the raccoon too. Um, I think the next bit, it's going to get me past that. The block that's uh, by this next pipe. So if I can get rid of that, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to sort of slide, slip, and duck underneath it. Perhaps if I'm going fast enough, then I duck. Oh, just like that here. This is the level I meant at the back end of last uh, video by the way where I was talking about a level that is sort of an infamous maze and it does seem to be this one I think this one up over there I need to go up, so it would seem I need a 
shell from somewhere. Uh, I'm not really sure you can actually take them down a pipe or not. So perhaps I did need this guy. But for now, uh, yeah, let's keep trying on Naru and some of these. Uh, apparently not, so I'll just send you there. So the, I think this one going down just indicates that you do need to make it across the next one. Now if I'm going to knock these, I think this might be blocks again. So yeah, I'm looking at getting... Uh, this is so annoying. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm looking at getting in the top section on here. And hopefully I'm closing it now. It does seem like I'm towards the end of the level. And this is the pipe that does seem to send you to the end, ideally. Yeah, there we go. So, that one is just a trial of patience more than anything, to be honest. Obviously, the start bit, I, I died a few times, so that can be tough. But, um, yeah, that's... That, it's probably my least favourite level on this whole world, to be honest. Now, last time I got number two, so as per, I'm going to go across, and that is perfect. So I've got my nice Tanuki suit there that is going to come in handy, because there is a level later on I think we have to climb a lot. Uh, I can't even see where I am. Oh yeah, I'm over here, so I don't know if you can actually use your hammer, bro, to get rid of this thing. Apparently not, so this is the strangest pipe location ever. It's just there to sort of have a sighter of the next section of the, the level thing. Of the world, sorry. So yeah, just moving back across to the fort, then we take on the, the castle next. Most of my power ups uh, are too overpowered to try a level blind, so as so I'm just gonna try it normally. Hope for the best. Oh god, it was a bad decision. Okay, this one, um, yeah, it's better if I have big, big Mario, of course, because then I can like smash all them blocks, and I'm sure there's like bound to be a few hidden power ups or something. I'm gonna hope that you can make it across there. Excellent. So I think this bit sends me back and I oh, son of a bitch. Right, you can make it up there though. That was just um, a fail of a jump. But yeah, similar to the, the level that was on the the last world, I think this is gonna be an endless loop. And um it just it's designed to do that so that you can get a mushroom then head back to the main page at least I think so so let's try again and hopefully we make this this time whoa it is precarious I sort of backed out all the way through and still made it but it's not letting me through this pipe which is a bit like what the hell Not even sure there's anything up here either, so yeah, let's just see if we can find anything up on here. Because if we can't, I'm really out of ideas to be honest. I remember this level and I remember spending a while on it, but I don't actually remember what to do. Hopefully there's a, a P switch on here somewhere. I'm starting to get a bit concerned now. I don't think something would be this hidden, to be honest. 
Oh, there we go. Perhaps not. No, I've only got 90 seconds left anyway, so I really need to be sharpish on here. Ah, you son of a bitch. Right, so it sent me back to the same place. At least I know where it is now. The same one. So I think it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, maybe it's this one. Actually, <laughs> there we go. So it's actually really deceptive. Though. No, fuck off. Uh. So you got to go down the first pipe, apparently. Um, this uh, the maze aspect of World Seven is so annoying to be honest. But it's uh, going to be a push for time. I do know where to go at least. I say that, I hope this is the way to go, because this does just seem like a a bonus sort of side path. No, no, it is. Shit. Right, so Try now, I suppose. I mean I am gonna fail this one I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of lives and it's a shame because I've got Tanuki suit, but I can come back and get it. Perhaps you do have to just fly up in here. And maybe that's why you need this. Yeah, there's a pipe up there. Maybe that's the way. So, you know, the, the whole point of the level is sort of just to get this done. If that's the case. Uh, it is this, so 14 seconds left. Can I do it? I might just do this out of nowhere. Please, 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 hurry up. <laughs> Three seconds left. There we go. So just follow the route I took, and uh, you, of course you, you'll do it in plenty of time because I managed to get past that somehow. So this seems to be a mini game actually. I thought that was just a blockade. So let's take this guy. Now it's just gonna be a series of these. Now this does look tough because I can only get this at a run. And uh, it's sort of us time to send this little fire flower thing. Across. So, if you time this well, you can get rid of these. Just make sure you stand on the far edge of this, by the way, and this guy can't hit you. Whistle, perhaps? No, oh, P switch. So a P-Switch is really handy for the next world. Um, another fork, so I'm going to take on this one first. And as you've seen, a few of these are just dead ends. Uh, there's another one, so this, that'll be the for when the next fortress is oh, I think if you get game over, any fortresses you've taken out will be gone, but you have to do all the levels again on the world. So that's just purely for that. But of course, 61 lives left. We're not going to get a game over. I uh, should know when this one <laughs> led, because uh, I have come down here last episode. But onwards and upwards, got another game, mini game in here that I'm not going to waste a lot of time on. Spam the shit out of X. And I've got one of each, so. Um, level 6. I uh, don't think there's that many on this world, to be honest, but. It looks like a cave one. All oh, right, I do like this one actually. It's one of my favourites. Um, this utilises the the type of level where it is a left and right one. So it's actually pretty creative. This one. Now these things. Uh, every time you jump, I go left and right. I've been on this before. Um, on the game and the walkthrough but for anyone who didn't catch that episode uh, that which you think was episode 3 or something then yeah you sort of use that um, it's the only real way to make my way up I think there are sections where Raccoon Mario can't even reach 
I mean, I'll try it because it is quicker if I do it like this. Right now, so I do need to go on this. And of course, if there's any direction like that, this one's a fixed one just to head up. Um, pipe over there, I really don't. Oh, I know. I was going to say, I really don't know how to get up it, but just make your way across, then just duck, then head up. No, I was convinced there'd be something on that, actually. But... So, let's make QA up there, and of course, uh, oh, don't do it as quick as that, but... I was going to say, turn it as quick as possible, so that you're avoiding these spikes. I don't think there's anything I'm going to get, to be honest, aside from coins there. As Anticipating something a bit better. So just a beer, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the end of the level, so really not a tough one. Certainly compared to the last couple. Um, but we're going alright. Um, this world doesn't cause quite as many deaths as anticipated. Um, more than World 6 probably, but... Yeah, uh, sort of on schedule. Cause I think for a world day could take as many as 40, to be honest, so I do need to keep all of these, just as insurance. Yeah, so I'll try that. I wasn't sure whether the plant guy had come back out, if I was, like, a stone Mario. Ah, uh, this is necessary actually, it seems. So yeah, make your way across as quick as possible and just make sure you get to the blocks in time. So that was a good job I had Tanuki Mario then, to glide across and get that one. Oh god, that was good. Good job I had him again then, to be honest. And the dive in time as well, so to make sure you duck in time, that was good reactions actually in the end. It was poor of me to lose Tanuki, but um, yeah, if you if you fail to make that duck, you, you're pretty much fucked, to be honest. So, actually, if you fail that mission, I would recommend just being small, Mario, because it probably is better, because of course you can't fail to make the duck uh, through that gap there. Oh, I'm actually... No, oh, did it? Oh, no. The first one I've passed since about World 2, I think. So, lovely stuff. Um, I'm gonna just keep hold of this, actually, I think. Oh, God. I don't even want to jump that high, for fuck's sake. Uh, this is deceptively hard, this bit, I can tell already, so, got to jump, no, I think, yeah, they, they sort of go at different rates, so I don't think there's any actual set pattern to the two in correlation to each other, so you just got to wait, like say for instance now he's coming out and that one's going in, alright, maybe not, these two seem to be in pattern. But it took me a few goes to sort of pick that. Oh fuck, I, I thought I had the star then already, so... Uh, sorry again, I don't think I'm going to use a power up on this one. Oh yeah, I did have a pattern, so my mistake, so... What you want to do is go there now. Thank you. 
Oh, are you are kidding me. I assume that would kill it, to be honest, when you hit the block. I'm not sure whether I hit the block to the left of it and it just fell down the gap. It did seem that way, but... I'm not going to bother doing that again, to be honest. Just in case. Yeah, uh, timing is key then. Wow. There wasn't much um, leeway between that jump. So, yeah, you do have to sort of jump when he's, he's halfway between uh, head and down. I'm sure there's another one on the other side. But I really don't know where he is. Probably not. I thought, I thought there was one on here last time. It's not such a simple looking level, can really be tougher than other sections. Timing this is not easy because it's getting across. I think I can time it and get past them with ease. But this guy will move all the way across and if I get stuck in that gap like that, I'm just fucked. So I'll be confident getting past this if I didn't have a small mirror. I really need to work out this pattern. Um, fuck it, no. Right, that was quite yummy. Ah, are you fucking kidding me? After all that, that was an easier section. So, um, I think you do get a power up that I can keep hold of, at least. I had that mushroom on, so if I keep hold of that, I think I'll get past that bit again. But, um, um, I'd be amazed actually if I make uh, if I make it past that bit unscathed again. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. It's I've not used one all walkthrough. I think or perhaps one. I'm actually going to use a P. I've got six of them, so I do think that's plenty for next world. And even if it runs out, you you keep raccoon suit. I think. So excellent, I'm happy as well that... Oh. Well, there's a secret up there anyway, probably. Um, yeah, this... This level does have a top bit. Sometimes it'll be sort of capped. The roof of the level will be invisible, but... You can't just spam through like this bit. Like I am now. I mean, I'm not really sure why this top bit is on anyway. I don't think if you had standard Raccoon Mario, you'd even be able to get a big enough run up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was close. So, I do like to hover a bit just to see how much more of the level there was. Not much anyway, I suppose. And as you have full P, um, you're always guaranteed to get a star if you um, head into the little block as P Mario. So, five extra lives coming handy because I probably lost about five in that level. So, I'm not really getting anywhere in that one. I don't remember where half of them were from last time. And, um,. Yeah, I'm going to sort of stop uh, remembering that, to be honest, because I do think we have enough lives. So, good old uh, Hammer Bros Mario. Still haven't used him, but he will uh, he will make an appearance, I'm sure. Now, I'm going to get rid of this, because it does seem like there's a little P section here that might be possible. Yeah, I was, I was quite like these levels, actually. 
bit of a maze, but... You know, it's more enjoyable than sort of your standard level, I suppose. I often like to get everything on Mario as well, but I think it might actually run out of time if I, I waste too much time like getting in every section. So it's a shame we couldn't get out there, but yeah, from now on I'm just gonna try and make it through the normal route. Seems it was the way I went. So I can see why the, where the P benefit is, I suppose. This is just going back and forth at this level. I hope I'm going the right way here, because you do seem to need to like alternate your levels that you're on every time, and this looks promising. Oh, there we go. So actually heading past the, uh, the section isn't the way to do it. It seemed like you had to get on the outer frame and stay there, but yeah, here's your way out, and now just the castle on this mini game left. Then yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the final one's Ludwig. This one looks harder than you expect. It takes that long to get over there that you have to actually jump like now. So let's just lure this guy across. They're the bane of my life, these, these fire guys. So I'm not sure how to go about this one, to be honest. I think if I was to float across, get him to come down. Yes, I knew it. This guy will come back. That's a shame. I didn't move too far across, but it doesn't take a lot for him to go. Time you take to duck this. He comes back anyway, so this seems the way to go. Line it up so Mario is like right on the edge. Oh, then jump. This is perfect. I needed a raccoon suit with me because it gives me a little leeway to sort of glide across stuff. Son of a bitch. Right, so I think you did have to actually do that last time as well. So I did it to the wrong one. You know, you float across near, then head back. It seems like he's not going to pay now, so. Oh my god, as soon as I say that, right. Three times I, t <laughs> I weighed up stuff like that and got none out of three, so. Yeah, it's unlucky, but. I'm um, actually probably better waiting for these to come across, so I'm going to do that. Because, yeah, you kill one of these and you don't actually kill them because it's like a skeleton anyway, so let's wait for it to get out of the way.
Oh. Oh. I missed him by like a s three millimeter or something. I don't know. Jesus, wow, that guy's really quick actually. But don't come out the way anyway. And so yeah, thank guys for that. But um onwards and upwards, we've got um this thing left which it was surprisingly long last time, this little mini level, so it can be can be tough. Well, you see there. Um, but yeah, I don't think uh, it's hard at all if you sort of use the right power up stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue trying not to. But, um, stay by the roll, something like round three or so deaths. Then I will uh, sort of tear for it. Oh god, so that's out the way anyway. I'm glad I didn't use one. And um bit of a shame I only got mushroom for that. But I will equip it for the next one, I feel. Because going into Final World, I do seem to have one of everything. You know, I've got a frog suit if need to be. I don't think I'll need that to be honest. That'll probably end up left over. The peas and the stars are the big ones, but um having two Tanuki suits is handy and two Hammer Rose. So that is if I get past this, of course. So this time he's been turned into a piranha plant. Last world, uh, I did world six. I didn't actually notice what animal he's gone to, but this is um, one of the only animals that's actually an enemy in the game. Like some of the previous ones were like, you know, a dog or a spider or something, which aren't actually enemies. So yeah, one of the few uh, fictional ones. This well might well be, yeah, I think it is. One of the levels where you do actually need to use the, oh God, where you'd actually need to use the screw thing. I mean, to say that, I'm not sure whether you could have hopped across, but I wasn't far enough into the level to tell you. So I'll just persevere a small Mario, because the hard aspect of this level is just jumping, which, you know, it doesn't really matter what size it is. So I'll try it without the stupid screw thing. Oh yeah, you can just make it, so yeah, just ignore that. Just put there, just to fucking make it harder or something. Same again, just, just ignore the screws. Now this one I do have to actually move across, have a slight run up of that I think, so make sure you're sharpish as soon as that Bunsen burner goes down. Uh, knock on the bottom there and you do need the screw to get up to this section, but that's a shame I lost that because that would have been a raccoon suit thing. I think this one you do actually, actually use. And just make sure you, if you can, you're sort of as far to the left hand side as possible so you can get a bit of run momentum when you move across. Like that. So I think that's it. Um, hopefully there's another block over here or something. I forget Ludwig's sort of skill, like his way of fighting to be like, oh there we go. So he has a little wand. And oh shit. 
Right, whenever he jumps, he does actually uh, stun you as well. So even when he, he uses his shell thing, he stuns you. So I got quite lucky actually there. When we say that, you know, I think I made it um, made it look easier than it actually is, to be honest. Because he did stun me at one point on I uh, recovered in time. So, you know, I could easily have died then, but it is the toughest of the Koopalings, but still nothing in comparison to uh, some of the bosses and some of the Mario games. So with that, we've got rid of the uh, Pipe World, finally, and um, that's it now, final, final world. So he sent us a message here. And this this has three sections to it, I think. Well, like sort of lava world, and um, it is a bitch to be honest. It, it is hard in places. So first level is going to be one of these. You know, they're all sort of similar to well, not all of them, I suppose, but a lot of them are similar to the the airstrip levels. Uh, just watch out. You know, the web, the enemy of choice. Um, seems to be set on some worlds, you know, for instance, the pipe Well, the enemy of choice was piranha plant. Yeah, this one just seems to be like bombs and fire. So sometimes, as you saw then, it is actually better to wait so as late as possible to move across to the next section. Now as well. 